Welcome. Hope your summer's going well. Wanted to give you a quick overview. We set up some of these Business 110 shells, both a Blackboard shell and a McGraw-Hill Connect shell. And if you choose to use them, and of course it's a choice, uh, I want to show you what we've got and how hopefully it might save you some work. So the agenda, we're going to give a quick overview, talk a little bit about the student learning objectives and how, or outcomes and how we've uh, tried to put in some employment skills into the course. And then how to copy the Blackboard shell to your Blackboard course, how to pair your Connect shell to your Blackboard course, and any next steps or questions that you might have. So. Um, I just want to emphasize these shells are there to support you. Obviously, if you're an experienced instructor and you have a shell that works for you that you've used, uh, no one's saying you've got to ditch those and use these shells. These shells are there to support you, not to create extra work. So use them. You can you can take them. You can modify them. You can ignore them. You can take them and use them exclusively. It's up to you. Uh, we have made a couple changes from last year based on your quarterly input and some of the votes you made. Uh, we've made it a little bit more of a survey type course. So what we've done is we've streamlined some of the chapters and because, as we talked about, because we have a marketing course and a human resources course and accounting courses, we've streamlined some of these functional areas down to one chapter, so it's more of a survey of the different functions. So we basically go through chapters one through eight like we always did in this shell, but then we're a little bit more selective, and that allowed us some room to put in a few videos on employment skills and to add an assessment uh, on the discussion boards of employment skills. So that's kind of the thought pattern of this fall 2016 shell. Um, as we mentioned, the student learning objectives are the the only requirement is to make sure they're covered. So there's what they are in the chapters that they're covered in. And they're, all the questions are covered in chapters one through eight quizzes. So uh, it would make the collection process easiest if, if you didn't change those first eight quizzes. But, you know, if you do, uh, then that's fine too. Just make sure these are all covered. Um, so what you should have is I had IS copy everybody a what's called a 16 weeks development rank and that's for the fall that's your blackboard shell you should have that and you when you log into mcgraw hill connect you should also have a shell for fall 2016. <clears throat> now to copy your blackboard shell to your course so you'll go in and and copy your blackboard shell to your course i would highly recommend you put in a school dude and if you don't know how to do that just email us and uh, you have IS copy the shell, which is, uh, what did we name it? 16 weeks development rankings. You just say, I want to copy this shell into my course, and then you're ready to go. Then, if you want to pair it, I've included a video from McGraw-Hill on how to then pair the Connect course to your Blackboard course. So, and after watching that video, you'll have both. And then email me with any questions. Also, for reference purposes, I've put these videos into the uh, on the Blackboard shell, the instructor resources, because I lose emails. You're probably better than me. But therefore, if you ever want a refresher, you can go to instructor resources, and this information is there. Thanks. Good luck, and let me know if I can help.